Hello everyone and welcome back to The Frame Channel. Robots, which were once the domain of science fiction writings and movies, are today becoming a part of our everyday lives, thanks to some incredible technological advances. These awesome automatons are set to work on repetitive or dangerous tasks in order to improve the quality of life and safety at the workplace for humans. In this feature, we'll explore why these four-legged robots cost millions of dollars to build. This unusual-looking four-legged creature may not be the first thing that springs to mind when you hear the word robot. Rather than the traditional human-like qualities we all associate with robotics, this creation is definitely more beast than man. Funded by DARPA and the U.S. Marine Corps, this sturdy, horse-like creation was designed by the team at Boston Dynamics to carry heavy loads in a military setting. Named the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3 for short, the machine can carry up to 400 pounds of a squad's load and travel for 20 miles on a single charge. This relieves personnel from their heavy physical burden allowing them to be more agile and comfortable while still having complete access to all of their essential supplies. The semi-autonomous bot is cleverly designed and can use its strong legs to traverse a wide range of terrains, meaning that it can follow the exact same route as its assigned squad without slowing them down or needing human intervention. Hyundai Motor Group-owned engineering and robotic design company Boston Dynamics are the brains behind the LS3. They have created many other cutting-edge innovations in the field of robotics. The company prides itself on its mission to imagine and create exceptional robots that enrich people's lives. The multi-award winning group's innovations range from automated arm machinery to make warehouse management more efficient to dog-like robots that can inspect potentially dangerous areas, such as construction sites, electricity substations, or unknown, unsecured premises for the police. Boston Dynamics also has some incredible humanoid creations in development, which we will take a closer look at later in this feature. The concept of dog-shaped robots might be a little hard to imagine and may even conjure up some images of Poochie toys from the 90s. But these autonomous machines are not for recreational whimsy. They are, in fact, sophisticated work tools. Boston Dynamics developed their first four-legged dog-like bot named Spot. This device has been commercially available since 2019 and boasts the ability to navigate a range of complex terrains, such as traveling up and down inclines and even mastering steps. This gives the model a clear advantage over its wheel-driven counterparts. The unit is equipped with 360-degree cameras and is programmed to avoid obstacles in its path. It can record and transmit data with applications including scanning and inspecting hazardous areas such as mining tunnels, construction sites, or natural disaster zones. Interestingly, if an object were to knock the robot over, it has self-writing technology to help get it back on its paws in no time. Spot can even be used to carry objects of just over 30 pounds in weight. The dog is battery-powered and can run for up to 90 minutes before its power pack needs to be swapped or recharged. A range of accessories can be attached to the model including a thermal imaging camera, laser scanner, and a robotic arm. Looking perhaps more similar to the robots we are all familiar with, humanoids have been developed to move and act increasingly like us. Boston Dynamics Atlas robot is one such creation. Standing at about 5 feet tall and weighing around 190 pounds, it is a striking bipedal. 
human-like machine of large proportions. The bot is operated by a battery pack and its limbs are moved hydraulically. Amazingly, this humanoid responds to its environment in real time, using information from its cameras and sensors, which is then processed inside its three onboard computers to make predictions about its movements. This incredible technology facilitates Atlas's wide range of dynamic movements at speeds enabling it to successfully complete athletic challenges, such as dancing, running, and jumping obstacles in a parkour. All of this means that the robot can perform more human-like movements and thus it could have a diverse range of applications in the future. As early as the 1950s, robotic arms were programmed to help with factory production. The Unimate 1900 was invented by George Duvall and patented in 1956 with the aim of performing monotonous and labor-intensive tasks along a production line. General Motors Corporation adopted the technology in 1959 to help improve its assembly line. The machine, which did not need a human operator, was programmed to move in specific ways and so became the first automated arm employed on a car production line. Modern versions of the robotic manufacturing arms still look similar today and are used to perform tasks such as spray painting, welding, adding sealants, and sometimes transporting the whole body of the car with both speed and accuracy. More advanced models can even perform quality assurance tasks, such as scanning the effectiveness of weld seals, and even assembling components to create the entire engine unaided. These refined examples of manufacturing arms have the physical dexterity and sophisticated software to enable them to complete intricate movements with greater accuracy than humans. Of course, like any machine, these complex robots need to be properly maintained in order to retain their functionality. By the very nature of their work, robot arms are programmed to perform the same task over and over again, consistently and for long periods of time. It's these high levels of repeatability that are the backbone of industrial robot performance. But without accuracy, the completed jobs would not meet the required standard. Calibration is therefore essential for consistency. Robot arms can be calibrated using sensors and lasers to pinpoint and record precise reference points, ensuring that the machine can operate accurately within these boundaries. Physical adjustments to the robot's hardware, such as the joints, can be undertaken by engineers to ensure that these bots perform within set parameters. EPFL in Switzerland has taken robotic arm technology to a whole new level with their latest invention. This five-foot robotic arm features a hand-like structure sporting three fingers and an opposable thumb, which can open and close to grasp objects. At face value, this looks very much like other robotic arm technology. Where this differs, however, is the immense speed of its reactions. Throw an object at the arm and it will use its sensors to react in less than five hundredths of a second in order to catch it. The bot can capture objects of varying shapes and sizes in its grip due to its ability to react in real time. Amazingly, the robot learns to catch in much the same way that humans do, through a trial and error process with the operators guiding the arm and hand initially to complete successful catches. The machine then builds a model and uses its experience to assess the speed, trajectory, and best part of the object to aim for when catching. This adaptive technology enables the robotic arm to successfully ensnare items such as tennis rackets, cartons, or balls. In this feature, we have seen some incredible technology, which looks set to reshape the future of automation. But what does the future hold for the global robotic arm market? In 2021, the sector was valued at $26.24 billion and is expected to reach an eye-watering $74.35 billion by 2029. 
This represents an impressive compound annual growth rate of 13.9% during the period of 2021 to 2029. Growth is likely to be driven by an increase in warehouse spaces utilizing this technology, newfound preferences for the work-from-home model, and advances in equipment which make these systems easier to integrate. For now, at least, it seems that the robotic arm market has far-reaching potential for future profitability. That's the end of this feature on the frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time.